What's up brothers and sisters, thank you so much for coming back to watch our videos and for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing so that you can always be notified on our videos. So today we will be talking about the Rwanda Asylum Plan. Rwanda Asylum Plan is a plan which was created by the UK together with Rwanda in April 2022 in which illegal immigrants, people who go through the desperate journeys to the UK, mm -hmm. through the English channels on small Britain. boats mm -hmm. to, to Britain or the UK, will be moved yeah. to Rwanda to seek asylum from there. So you'll be to, you have to apply for asylum from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. It means okay. that all they want to do is they want to deter people from going, going to, to the, the UK. UK. What? It, it, this is this is making me angry and the reason this is happening is we have been seeing a lo lot of africans dying in the mediterranean trying to reach europe to look for greener pastures eh? and now these people do not want you to go to their countries so they are using rwanda as a as a place to settle you mm -hmm. and what happens with the rwanda asylum plan is if you apply for asylum, you know, if you're in the UK and you apply for asylum, you stay in the UK. But you will be brought to Rwanda instead, you apply for asylum from Rwanda, and if you are given the asylum, you won't be moved to the UK, mm -hmm. you stay in Rwanda. So, what is happening this week of November 2023? So, UK Supreme Court is to rule on controversial asylum policy um, for sending migrants to Rwanda. Rishi Sunak's government is eagerly awaiting a crucial judgment by the UK Supreme Court said to be delivered this Wednesday. So on the 15th of November 2023, the court will determine the legality of the government's flagship immigration policy which involves sending asylum seekers to Rwanda. The legal battle stems from a court of appeal ruling that declared the multinational pound agreement to deport asylum seekers to the East African nation as unlawful, underlying multinational pound. Yeah? As the Supreme Court's decision looms, it carries significant implications for the government's immigration strategy. Government legal representation have contended that the Court of Appeal erred in its conclusion that deportations to Rwanda would violate Article 3 of the European Convention on Human Rights. Article 3 prohibits torture and inhumane or degrading treatment. According to the government's argument, a memorandum of understanding between the UK and Rwanda assures a safe and effective refugee status determination process of all deportees. Now let's get to see who else is in this. So the United Nations High Court Commissioner for refugees, which is UNHCR, has also entered the legal fray, asserting that the assurances provided are insufficient to address the basic and fundamental defects in the Rwandan asylum. To date, the UK has paid at least £140 million to the Rwandan government, led by President Paul Kagame, despite the introduction of the illegal migration bill. No deportation flights have occurred due to a series of legal challenges. So already there's money that has been sent to Rwanda, 140 million pounds that has been received by President, yeah, President Kagame, although there's not even one um, refugee that has been sent since that money has been sent. So there's, there's still a, a, a court battle. Some are saying, no, 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 this is not safe, this is not good, we are violating Article 3, you know, of the Human Convention rights. What, 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 what? There's a lot of in and out, in and out of court um, processes due to this issue. But we want to comment as Africans, what do we think about this and the impact it might have on Rwanda? What do you think? I think Kagame is a bright guy, but uh, I don't know what is in for Rwanda. Bright guy? Uh, yeah, he's, he's wise, eh? mm -hmm. he's a wise person, wise president. But I, and I don't know what is in need for Rwanda mm -hmm. that he accepted this deal. Re this reminds me of the, the, when there was the, the, the Jews were massacred mm -hmm. in East, Eastern Europe and they were moving across Europe, moving through Europe into the UK. And the, the people of the British people never they wanted, wanted them. Yeah. So the government devised a plan mm -hmm. to create a promised land. They are promised land, yeah. which was 
supposed to be created in, somewhere in Kenya mm. in in a place called Wasingishu but uh, it failed because mm. the Jews wanted to go to where to a place where the Jews had a name that mm. is the area around Sinai and Palestine mm. and we are seeing what is happening in Palestine right now decades and decades so later. I think history is repeating itself because mm. these people do not want anything to do with people who are not there no. they them eh? mm. and who are these people who are crossing the the great English Channel. Of course, it's our mostly our our people, our black skin people, yeah. or brown skin people with that. And why do they even call us black? We are not black. We're brown. So it's us, and they have been destabilizing our countries, taking our minerals, leading to economic recessions and our other development in a way that people don't find opportunities, employment, and they only see a way out a way out to go into the UK mm -hmm. but now they don't want them so they have to take them somewhere what uh, proves me right eh, is the fact that they, you go to you are taken to Rwanda mm -hmm. you seek asylum you are either resettled somewhere else where they are they, they deem safe mm -hmm. or you stay in Rwanda as a refugee mm -hmm. but there's no way that they are going to take you to the UK so mm -hmm. it's like and Get ensuring and that they, nobody goes to the UK because you'll be discouraged. Yeah. Imagine you you want to go to the UK to find a job. Mm -hmm. Then getting there, you are shipped to Rwanda mm -hmm. and you have to stay in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And you know Rwanda is very small. Eh? Yeah. And I well, that's my that's why I'm wondering how President Paul Kagame reached the agreement to say, I can take, I can house these people when, or maybe he knows his country better. Yeah. And what you were saying about um, these people not wanting refugees or all this they don't want our, our people yeah so yeah. when rishi sunak went into power his promise was or his key pledge was to prevent small boat arrivals into the uk mm. so if if they could they could definitely even close with walls yeah? yeah the sea with walls nobody gets in so this is something they are sure of they don't want and there's no way they will allow it if it means taking you guys back to africa we will do it if it means spending millions and millions of pounds to get you out we will do it mm. i don't even think they feel like the money is a lot yeah they yeah, can even not, give them yeah, billions of money they, just to make they, sure that they, they create israel of course they did you see and some of these things, well, we don't know what Kagan is thinking. It's it's scary for us because, you know, these these are people you are bringing into your country, and now you have to give them papers. Some will be there without papers, documentation. Yeah, some will be refugees. Some will be, you know. And in in any case that you hear refugees, mm -hmm. there is money coming into the country. Of course, there's a lot. But uh, apart from the refugee funds, mm -hmm. I don't know what is in for Rwanda. What we need as Africa is a, is a, a late, well laid plan. Mm -hmm. Because when you develop a country, why would I want to, to go, go to, to somebody else's? The same thing that Malema was saying. Yeah. It's not like Nigerians who now stay. If you open borders, it's not like people will move from their country to, to South Africa or to any other mm -hmm. country just because you think that your country is better. Or, Let us build our countries in such a way that I will only want to travel to yeah. Nigeria and see what is for happening, business, you know, fun, come for, back you know. to my country, develop it, continue to push my households in my country. That is the kind of Africa that we need to build. But what we are seeing right now, I mean, honestly, and they all, they, the thing about the UK, they always look into Africa to push these people first yeah. before they look out of, um, out in other countries. What of they wanted the to rest. do in Kenya is the same thing they are doing in yeah. Rwanda. So, you know, in a, in a, hidden manner. Ah. They don't want us. We are not wanted anywhere. Brown people, black people. Stay in your country. Uh, we are, you are not needed. You are not wanted anywhere. The best thing we can do is assist each other. To like grow. unite yeah. and grow together. Mm -hmm. Not uh, Then when we grow together, we'll be like China. China was hated. Now they are Everybody everywhere. Wants they, to they, associate they, themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, let us know what you think about all this, the Rwanda uh, asylum, asylum plan, plan. policy. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section. And uh, we cannot wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, comment on the video and definitely subscribe.